Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to render and upload a video onto YouTube in the original quality setting, which is basically the highest quality you can get at the moment, and it's pretty much the same quality as you'll find in your raw video file, which is the file that you get straight from the HD PVR, the Fraps recording program, any recording program that you're using, it's going to basically be the same quality that you get from that. Uh, and forgive me if I sound like I have a cold probably because I do have a cold but uh, yeah let's get started first of all you're gonna wanna go in your properties which is found over here this little button right here or you can hit alt enter and you're gonna wanna go down to HDV 1080 60i and you wanna click that and then you're gonna wanna change all the things into these settings width you're gonna do 2048 height 1152 Field order none, pixel aspect ratio one, output rotation zero, frame rate 29.9. .9. Again, this is because YouTube caps the frame rate at 30 frames per second, so just making it higher would defeat purpose, or not, it would just increase rendering time for no reason. Uh, stereo optic is off, pixel format 8 bit, full resolution rendering quality at best, of course, motion blur type Gaussian deinterlace method at none um, pretty much gonna wanna go to audio next <laughs> and just copy these settings I think these are at the highest yeah these are at the highest so just put all that at the highest leave this one at zero stereo buses and these don't matter so you wanna hit apply and okay so next we're going to want to go into our rendering settings and hit render as and go to Windows Media Video V11.WMV format and hit 8 MBPS HD 1080 30p video and then you're going to want to hit custom and change it to these settings. For the audio tab, hit include audio of course and the mode is CBR format Windows Media Audio 10 Professional attributes at 192, 48, 2 channel, 16 bit, CBR. For video, the most important part of this, hit CBR for mode, Windows Media Video 9 for the format, image size is going to be custom, and this is where you're going to want to put in 2048 and 1152 and keep the pixel aspect ratio at 1. The frame rate, leave that at 29.9 because again YouTube caps it off at 30. Seconds per keyframe, 5, this, put this at 8, override default compression buffer, make sure that's checked, and video smoothness at 100. Bit rate, I don't think any of this matters, I have this on internet land 6, this doesn't matter, and for this just make sure it's on best, and hit OK. And then rename the template to YouTube original so you don't forget what it is and have to come back to this video God forbid you have to come back to my channel and watch this video again <laughs> um, that's basically it original quality takes a crap load of time to render because it's the highest amount of quality and it's gonna leave big file format or big file space so if you have a good computer and you want to make very high decent quality videos like maybe you're making a montage or something I'd recommend original quality but if you're just making normal videos like I normally do just output videos and don't really need the highest setting just put it at what I have in my other video which I'll put an annotation somewhere along the screen right here and just follow that video guide but yep thanks for watching have a good day and all that jazz